hi guys this is Papu Singh from Curino so today we are going to make an application to make a registration form using the Firebase so let's get started so first of all in Firebase we need to do something like the authentication and the database so first let's get into this authentication so we need to set up the sign in method whether I'm going to use the email or password or phone number or Google account or Facebook account so let's start with the simple one so any email and password so it will allow to user to sign up using their email address and password so just enable this one and save it and in database yeah in database okay we'll we'll create database using the android studio so let's get started for okay so this is my uh, project so previously uh, i created the application for those file uploading so in this i will include the registration form so that we can see after the when you fill the registration form when it complete it will take into that that uh, progress i mean the uh, file upload activity so let's get started let's create new activity so in this activity let's get one empty activity just name it registration okay so gradle project sync in progress so let's wait for some time so before that we need to design something okay let's get something for name so here user name then user email address then user password and one button so this button will work for submit the form right fine okay let's let's change something right here so let's name this is I'm sorry this is name ID and the hint is name right and yeah just remove the text as long as we, we we have a hint so no no need for the text and this one is what email right and this one hint is what email okay and this one is for password so this password and the hint is password and the button is uh, submit and this button name is submit button okay let's get into the java file so okay like first of all here we need to add the firebase database and the authentication okay previously we did this one so no need to add just add this firebase database copy this one and just paste it okay or else you just post the video and type this this code and you just sync those project then you good to go now let's create those all the edit text edit text for okay username private edit text user password and the private edit text for user email address and we need to create the database reference where we we are, we are going to store all the data for example name password email everything and we need one progress dialog right the progress dialog m progress well then what we need yeah we need to create the firebase authentication firebase auth is m auth without auth you can create so let's 
initialize all the thing username is edit text oh we left the button also i'm sorry this button is the m submit button okay so find view dot id is a user okay sorry so it's name right it's name and the user password right find by id r dot id dot password and the user email right it will do these things so email so let's declare the progress and progress is what and progress is what we need to okay now we need to initialize those database m database is firebase database dot dot get instance and the get the reference and child and just pick any name to the database name like okay i'm making this registration okay the m auth is firebase auth and get the instance yeah now okay we didn't declare this button m submit button is button type and yes, submit right so the thing is now when you click on the submit button so it will it will perform an action right so though that action we need to create in the function and we need to like make make that form work right so just create the submit set on click listener it means when you click on that button it will listen what what you want to do right so on view so we will create one function like uh, one method we'll create one method it's called okay like start registration right so it will you can put any name there is no restriction so now we need to we need to get the all the string for example when you put here something name email password so those things will convert into this string and it will trim and it will upload to your database so like name is like uh, what okay what i declare is username dot get text dot we need to convert into that string then we need to trim it so name so user okay we don't need okay user okay just declare password is a uh, user password get the text convert into the string and just trim it and string is an email user email get the text and when it is string it that's it right now we need to we need to like prove the condition whether the field it should not be empty right so the text util when the text which is not empty then it will perform the action and if the text util is empty the password moreover the text util dot empty the email right so there it will perform the action okay let's declare the progress uh, when those field is not empty then it will perform the action so our progress dialog will rotate so let's declare the m progress bar will show right okay just uh, just set message uh, okay registering your id and it will show and we don't want to if you touch outside it will not cancel so it's false boolean function is false right sorry false now 
now we, we we want to create the the main thing so our authentication will come so using authentication we will create user with email and password so email comma the password and we need to complete the listener right so now so we need to create a string to get the current user so string user id so m all dot get the current user dot get the uid that's it and we need to create a secondary database reference so that it can you know store into that current user okay just name it current user database so we created already one database so that database it will refer this database so so what's the name user id yeah. now our current user will push all the data said fellow i'm sorry yeah, we need to get the child child name is name and the set the fellow is name right and the current user dot child is email so we don't need to store the password in our database because it's private thing right so is email yeah now our progress bar will dismiss and or else we are yeah or else we can do we can intend intent new okay there's my intent just name the intent name new intent to our registration dot this to our main activity dot class so we want to go to that firebase file upload activity so just start the activity in the name of that intent name yeah so so we are good to go yeah. we are ready to run our application so let's start let's make this so this is the my application let's put name email password and making password right submit it yeah so it successfully registered. Look at this. This is the database for registration, and this is the email and name because we declare right here is the name and email, right? So this is the, and you can get your user details, the email thing and those things, right? This is the email, and the created at this one, and this is the user ID. So thank you guys. For watching this video hope you guys are enjoying in the next part i'll make something very interesting thank you so much